hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call this comp as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds and background color I am going to choose black color and hit ok and hit ok. Then I will pre press ctrl n to create another composition. For that width I am going to choose 800 and height I am going to choose 200 and hit ok. Then press ctrl y to create a solid background i will call this as bg and for the color i will choose white color then uh, click on this rectangle and make sure that you are choosing stroke not fill and stroke color is black and stroke width is 10 and simply double click press s unlink this and let's make it 90 and let's make this 90 and let's see what we have i think we need to increase it over here somewhere around like that and make sure that this is into fit now choose our text tool and now I'm going to type text over here you are free to type whatever you want I'm going to type motion select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and increase the scale somewhere around like that yeah now uh, hit ctrl k and I'll call this as text and hit ok so in project window we have this text now hit ctrl d in project window and double click on this text select this text and type another text i'll type graphics like that select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to center go to the align tab and choose align horizontally and align vertically now right click new and create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and simply double click and swap these colors now press ctrl n on your keyboard and for this i'll choose width 200 and height 200 i'll call this as box and hit ok like that now go to our main animation hit ctrl 0 and now bring back our text over here like this then bring our text over here and then bring back our box now uh, i'll move this sorry i'll move this box over here by holding ctrl i'll snap this over here double click on this box and sorry to i forgot that to create one background layer so i'll press ctrl y and i'll choose white color for this and with the help of ctrl i'll snap this over here then hit ctrl d and again hold by holding ctrl i'll snap this at the edge of it like that select this press y to choose our pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point over here select this by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point over here then we have this text to press v and by holding ctrl i'll move this over here press y and i'll snap this anchor point at over here like that so uh, now we have this text to i'll hit ctrl d double click open this text and I'll delete all these things press ctrl k and I'll call it as big box this is going to be just a random name I don't think any about it then go to the main animation and bring this big box over here and by holding ctrl I'll move this over here again hit by holding ctrl I'll move this over here to snap at the edges select this press y by holding ctrl snap it at the edge select this by holding ctrl snap this edge so as you can see all of them are properly say, aligned with their respective anchor points now we will convert all of them and we will convert them into 3d select this uh, make sure that this the base box is over here so i'll select this i'll bring this at the top and i'm going to parent this graphic one with this box so select this text and make it apparent with this box like that now select this box press r for rotation or you can go to the custom view one now i'll select this box and i'll rotate it on y axis minus 90 select this graphic press r on i'll rotate it minus 90 
select this press r rotate on y axis plus 90 select this press r and rotate not this one but this one press r and we will rotate it on x axis that's minus 90 then we will select this press r plus 90 yeah this looks good to me now if you want you can select this big boss and instead of white color you can change this color like press ctrl shift y to open this solid settings and we will choose black color for this like that now hit you now we will go to the top view and right click new and we will create one null object we will convert this null object into 3d and we will move this at the center go to the front view and make sure that this is at the center yeah this looks good to me now we will select all of them and we will make it parent uh, except this text to hit because this is parent with this box or you can unparent all of them and make it apparent with this null one at now now select if you select this null one and then you can rotate it on any axis you want now i'll create one keyframe at the y position and go to around one second let's make it 180 go to two second create another keyframe and go to three seconds let's make it 360 and at four second i'll create again one keyframe now select all the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation so our this box is ready now i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call this as text box and hit ok enable this option and convert this layer into 3d and now we will get this kind of animation now i'll move this or let's decrease the size to 70 percent not zero but 70 and let's move this over here and we will go to the front not left but front view like that and now i'll press p and select this box hit ctrl d and i'll move this over here sorry uh, let's move this over here by holding ctrl i'll snap this at the edge make sure that you are in front camera not active camera if you are in active camera you will get something different so make sure that you are in front view press p yeah and make sure that this head x is not changed let's make it zero like that now select this and hit ctrl d again by holding ctrl i'll snap this at the edge hit ctrl d by holding ctrl i'll snap it at the edge select all of them make sure that the x x is not changed i mean z x is not changed so let's make them zero like that or select this hit ctrl d by holding ctrl snap it at the edge hit ctrl d snap it at the edge hit ctrl d snap this at the edge yeah select all of them press p and z axis i'm going to make it zero 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 like that and now we will choose to camera view and now if you see we'll just get this kind of stuff now right click new and create one null object i'll select all of them and make it apparent with this null one now convert this null two into 3d press r for rotation and let's rotate it on certain axis like this press s let's move this over here like that then we'll go to five frames we'll move this over here and we will shift those things somewhere over here and this one over here now select all of them alt close bra open bracket go to the start and let's move this over here let's choose the quarter resolution so we will get this kind of stuff like this yep now we'll go inside this text box we have this null object over here and we will still press r for rotation alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here 
and now if you see we will get this continuous animation and now make this full resolution hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as precom hit ctrl d press s scale it down and you can move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d and hit ctrl d and you can change their timelines make this court resolution so now you will get this kind of animation press ctrl y to create a background layer i'll choose something around gray color and bring it over here let's make this full resolution select the stop one i'll apply drop shadow effect on it simply double click increase the distance to 300 softness 200 not 300 distance but let's say 30 and increase the softness to 200 and opacity 100 like that and if you want you can increase the distance and softness select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c select all the other other ones and hit ctrl v so now you will get this kind of kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next lecture no. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.